I'm in Milton, where the PC party is facing even more allegations of irregularities when it comes to their nomination process. Now, the nomination meeting happened here at that arena last week, and former Brampton MP Parm Gill handily won the nomination, beating out a popular regional councillor. But he didn't do it without controversy, starting first with the shifting nomination dates. The vote here was originally scheduled for November last year, but on October 29th, Parm Gill took to Facebook saying, I've been asked to carry the Ontario PC banner in the new riding of Milton under the leadership of my friend and our leader, Patrick Brown. A post that suggests he had already won the nomination, although Mike Cluett was also in the running. We asked the riding executive and provincial party why the date was shifted amidst allegations that it was done so Gill could shore up more support and memberships, but neither responded. But then the day at the polls, more curiosities. The people registering voters and even taking their ballots were wearing buttons and stickers bearing Gill's name. Some were wearing stickers, um, and that, that definitely wouldn't be allowed in something like a municipal, federal, or provincial election. Um, but I don't think that there are any particular rules for nominations. Maybe it's time that uh, they started looking at that, because really at a grassroots level, these are the people that you eventually want to vote. Elections Ontario doesn't set out the rules for riding nominations, but PC Party President Rick Dijkstra said in a statement to City News, the Milton nomination was carried out fairly and was monitored and certified by PricewaterhouseCoopers. In addition, the party executive had a neutral observer at the nomination to monitor the process and ensure its transparency and compliance with established procedures. Robert Duval, a council colleague of Cluett and a longtime conservative, questioned the rules that would allow campaigning on the voting floor. I think it's about time that uh, maybe the, the province stepped in and said if we're holding a nomination that these are the rules set forth, that they're clear and concise and that they mimic as closely as possible to perhaps the way the provincial or federal elections through the Elections Act is carried. Now, several PC nominations have come into question recently. Hamilton, Newmarket, Durham, Ottawa, and now Milton. And some candidates have even started legal action against the party. Now, a former candidate in the Hamilton riding has launched a suit against the party claiming voter fraud, while a Durham candidate is challenging the party's decision to keep him off the ballot entirely because he once ran for the Liberal Party more than 30 years ago. In May, the party did retain the services of PricewaterhouseCoopers to oversee and audit all nomination meetings moving forward. And they were at the Milton meeting just last weekend and they did not find any irregularities with regards to ballot casting. Now, we did reach out to Parm Gill several times throughout the day. He has not responded to our multiple requests for an interview.